Hello students, welcome. Today, lesson 27, we want to see quantitative treatment of electrolysis. And we are saying this is the relationship between the amount of substance deposited at the electrode or the amount that dissolves from an electrode and the quantity of electricity supplied during electrolysis or during the electrolytic process. Next, we are saying the quantitative amount of products of electrolysis can be determined by applying Friday's first law of electrolysis. So next, let us see what does Friday's first law of electrolysis it states. We are saying it says that the mass of a substance produced or formed during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed or supplied. Next, let's see again what is Faraday or F capital letter and we're saying it's the quantity of electricity carried by one mole of electrons which is approximately 96,500 coulombs. So next we are going to see number of Faraday's which we can write in a small letter and we are saying number of Faraday is equal to the number of electrons gained or lost at the cathode or anode during electrolysis or electrolytic process. Next, we are saying the charge of an element or the number of electrons required to discharge one mole of element or gas molecule, molecules determines the number of Faraday's required to discharge one mole of an element or a gas molecule. Next, we are saying electric current is measured in amperes, which we can write a capital letter, while the quantity of electricity, which we can write Q, is measured in Columbus, which you can write C capital letter. So next let's go to Faraday's first law of electrolysis calculations or problems concerning Faraday's first law of electrolysis. So the first part we are going to see determining the quantity of electricity passed or supplied or used. So we can use several formulas. We are having two formulas. The first formula, quantity of electricity, which can be written Q capital letter, is equal to IT where I is equal to current and remember current is measured in amperes then T is time and we are saying this time must be in seconds so the second formula is we can say Q is equal to M multiplied by N multiplied by F then divided by RAM where Q is the quantity of electricity passed M is mass in grams deposited then N is the number of electrons gained or lost. In other words, number of Faraday's or it can be judged on the metal. Then F is Faraday and it is equal to 96,500 Columbus. Then lastly, Rm will be just equal to relative atomic mass of element. So we got examples. In example number one, we are told a current of 3 amperes was passed through an, electro an electrolytic cell for 20 minutes. Then I told calculate the quantity of electricity produced. So here we can use the first formula that is Q is equal to IT. We see it where I is current which is measured in amperes and we have 3 there so we're going to say 3 times. Then T we say time so the time here is 20 minutes but remember we said time must be in seconds. So that means if we have 20 minutes, we have to multiply by 60 to convert it into seconds. So when we multiply all this, we are going to get 3600 Columbus as our quantity of electricity produced or passed. So we go to question number two. We are told what quantity of electricity will deposit 2.43 gram of zinc from a solution of zinc sulfate. So we are given bracket the RM of zinc, which is 65. And the tool one Faraday is equal to 96,500 Columbus. So we can use the formula quantity of electricity will be equal to mass multiplied by number of Faraday multiplied by Faraday then divided by Rm. So Q which we are looking for will be equal to the mass deposited is 2.43 that's 2.43 multiplied by number of Faraday. The number of Faraday of zinc is 2. Remember, we're having zinc sulfate. So, zinc sulfate solution contains zinc 2 ion and also sulfate ions. So, zinc 2 ions will gain 2 electrons to become zinc 
metal or neutral zinc so that mean this two is the number of ready or in other words the other way that you can know the number of ready is that you ask yourself what's the charge on zinc iron so that's two so that means the number of ready will be two or what is the valence of zinc the valence of zinc is two so that means the number of ready will be two then multiplied by f that's Faraday, which will be equal to 96,500 Columbus, written there, divided by the RM of zinc. The RM of zinc is 65. So when we put all this in the calculator, what we are going to get will be 7,215.23 Columbus. So that will be the quantity of electricity. Bastard. Question number three. We are told, during the electrolysis of magnesium sulfate, a current of 0 0.2 amperes was passed through the solution for 30 minutes and 45 seconds. So we're asked to calculate the quantity of electricity passed. So we can use the formula Q, which is equal to IT. So I, we said, is the current. So the current here is 0 0.2. We have written 0 0.2. Multiplied by time. Here, we're having T, which is equal to time. So time here is 30 minutes and 45 seconds. So we have to convert this time into seconds. So how are we going to do? We multiply 30 minutes times 60 so that we convert into seconds then we are going to add 45 seconds so when you take 0 0.2 amperes then we multiply it by 1845 seconds what we are going to get will be 369 columbus as our quantity of electricity and as we can use one formula and that formula is here mass deposited is equal to q multiplied by RAM and divided by N times F. So if you want to get Q, Q is given by AT, where I is current, which is measured in amperes, and T is time, which must be in seconds. So we are saying where Q is the quantity of electricity passed, M, which is here, is mass in gram deposit. That's what we are calculating in this lesson. Then we're having N, that's the number of Faradays. Then we're having F, that's the Faraday, which is 96,500 Columbus. Then RM is the relative atomic mass of the elements. Examples. So question one, we are to calculate the mass of copper that is formed when a current of 0 0.7 ampere is passed through a solution of copper 2 sulfate for 25 minutes. So in bracket we are given the RM of copper which is 64 and we are told 1 Faraday is equal to 96,500 Columbus. So if you remember the formula that we are supposed to look when we are calculating mass deposited is equal to Q multiplied by RM divided by N times F. So first of all we have to get Q and Q can be gotten by IT. I we say is current and T we say this time. And remember we say time must be in seconds so the current is 0 0.7 multiplied by time the time is 25 minutes but we have to convert it to seconds by multiplying 60 so we are going to have 0 0.7 times 1500 seconds what we are going to get here will be 1050 columbus that's the quantity of electricity passed then we come to this formula we are saying mass will be equal to quantity and quantity here we have gotten 1050 that is here multiplied by rm the rm of copper is 64 it is given in the bracket that's times 64 divided by n n is the number of radius in other words the number of electrons lost or gained or we can say n is the value on the charge of the metal so here the electrolyte is cobalt 2 sulfate so it contains cobalt 2 iron and also sulfate iron so cobalt 2 iron is written like this so that means the number of Faradays is 2 here or the value on the charge of the metal that's n again so the number of electrons that will be gained here will be plus 2 electrons so that means the n that we are going to use in this formula is 2 then we are going to have 2 multiplied by f and we say f is Faraday and we say 1f is equal to 96,500 Columbus. So when we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 0 0.348 gram. So that would be the mass of copper deposited or formed.
Question number two. We are told calculate the mass of chlorine liberated during the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride when a current of two amperes is passed for four minutes and fifteen seconds. So in bracket we are given the RM of chlorine that's thirty five point five and we are told one Faraday is equal to nine six thousand five hundred Coulombs. So we can do the same formula. We start with first of all getting Q. Q is given by IT and we say where I is the current. And current is measured in ampere so we're going to have to multiply it by time let's check the time the time is 4 minutes and 15 seconds remember we are told time must be in seconds so we have to take this 4 multiplied by 60 so that we convert into seconds then we add 15 seconds so here we are going to get 2 amperes multiplied by 255 seconds and we are going to get 510 Columbus as our quantity of electricity burst so we're going to have the formula for mass deposited, which is equal to Q multiplied by relative molecular mass. Here we are dealing with chlorine. Chlorine exists as molecular form. So we are going to write the RMM divided by N times F. So we start mass deposited will be equal to 510, which is our quantity of electricity mass multiplied by 71 where is this 71 coming from the 71 is coming from the rm of chlorine which is 35.5 multiplied by 2 because chlorine molecule is composed of two chlorine atoms so each is having 35.5 as it is rm then we multiply by 2 so that we get 71 as our rmm relative molecular mass of chlorine Divided by n. So what is our n? That's the number of varieties. First of all, we have to have chlorine. So chloride ion like that because we are having molten sodium chloride. So this chloride ions will lose electrons to form chlorine gas. So the number of electrons that is going to lose will be 2 because we have to put 2 here to balance the equation. So the number of electron gain or loss is the number of varieties. So we are going to put two here then multiplied by f that's faraday and remember faraday is 96500 kilometers so when we put all this in the calculator we are going to get 0 0.1876 gram so that will be the mass of chlorine liberated question number three we are told what mass of copper remains from 2.0 gram at the anode if a solution of copper 2 sulfate is electrolyzed using a current of one ampere following through an electrolytic cell for 20 minutes then in bracket we're given the rm of copper which is 63.5 and we are told one Faraday is equal to 96500 kilometers so here we are going to start looking for the quantity of electricity passed and quantity is gotten by it i is current which is measured in amperes t is time which must be in seconds so the ampere that we are given here is one ampere so the current is one ampere multiplied by the time given here is 20 minutes we take 20 minutes multiply by 60 to convert it into seconds when we put this one in the calculator we are going to get 1200 columbus so we write our formula mass will be equal to q multiplied by rm divided by n times f so Q is what we have gotten now, 1,200, then multiplied by the RM of copper, which is 63.5, it is given in the bracket, divided by N. Our N is 2 because we are having our electrolyte to be copper 2 sulfate, so the ion that we are having is copper 2 ion. So this 2 is the number of Faraday's. So next, multiplied by F, we said F is Faraday and we say one Faraday is equal to 96,500 Columbus. So we are going to multiply it by 96,500 Columbus. When we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 0 0.3948 gram. So remember here we are told what mass of copper remains from 2.0 gram at the R naught. So that the mass remaining will be equal to the original mass given minus mass deposited that is the mass that we have gotten now in calculation so 2.0 which is the original mass minus the mass deposited which is 0 0.3948 what we are going to get will be 1.6052 gram 
So this will be the mass of copper remains from 2.0 gram at the end. Question number four. We are told in an experiment to electroplate iron with silver, a current of 0.5 amperes was passed through a solution of silver nitrate for an hour. Calculate the mass of silver that was deposited on iron. So in bracket we are given the relative atomic mass of silver, which is 108, and we are told 130 is equal to 96,500 columbus. So we can just write the formula. Mass will be equal to Q times Rm divided by N times F. So Q is the quantity of electricity. How are we going to get it? By multiplying a current with the time. So the current given here is 0.5 amperes. So that's 0.5 multiplied by. So the time given is an hour. That's one hour. So one multiplied by 60 to convert into minutes. Then multiplied by another 60 to convert from minutes to seconds. That's the quantity. So what we have in the bracket is the Q. Multiplied by RM, that is 108, that's the RM of silver, 108, divided by N, that's the number of Fahrenheit. So here we are told we are having silver. How do you write silver? We write AG, then it's having a charge like that. Because we are having even the electrolyte to be silver nitrate. So we are going to have silver ion. So silver ion will gain one electron. So that means the number of Faraday is 1. Multiplied by 96,500 Columbus, which is the Faraday. So remember you said 1 Faraday is equal to 96,500 Columbus. So when we put all this in the calculator, what we are going to get is 2.0145 gram. The formula used when we are calculating volume of gas liberated will be V, which is equal to Q multiplied molar gas volume divided by N times F. If you remember, when we are calculating the mass of substance deposited, the formula was Q multiplied by RM. So here, the volume will be Q multiplied by molar gas volume instead of RM, then divided by N times F. So the same where Q is the quantity of electricity passed, and remember Q can be obtained by using the formula IT, where I is current, which is measured in amperes, T is time, which must be in seconds. So I say here volume is the volume of the gas liberated, that's what we are calculating. So here N will be the number of electrons gained or lost. In other words, number of Faradays. F, that's Faraday, it's equal to 96,500 Columbus. Then lastly, MGV will be the molar gas volume, it will be given in the bracket. Just like the RL. We go examples. Example number one. We are told what volume of oxygen liberated at the anode when a current of 3 amperes is passed through magnesium sulfate solution for 45 minutes and 30 seconds. So in bracket, molar gas volume at RTB is equal to 24.0 liters. Fred constant is equal to 96,500 coulombs. So we are going to start by looking Q. Q is equal to IT where I is current measured in amperes. That's 3 multiplied by T time. And we say time must be in seconds. So when we check, here we're having 45 minutes and 30 seconds. So we have to take 45, then multiply it by 60 to convert it into seconds. And we are going to add that seconds. So here we are going to get 3 ampere multiplied by 2730 seconds. What we are going to get is 8190 Columbus as our quantity of electricity passed. So V, that's the volume of oxygen liberated, will be equal to Q, which we have gotten 8,190 multiplied by molar gas volume. The molar gas volume is given in the bracket. That's 24.0 liters divided by N. So N here is the number of radius. So how are we going to know? Let's know, first of all, our electrolyte. Our electrolyte here is magnesium sulfate solution. That means it is non-binary electrolyte. So when it decomposes, it produces four ions, two cations and two anions. So the two anions are sulfate ion and also hydroxyl ions. So when we are doing differential discharge, we said hydroxyl ions are preferably discharged over sulfate ions. So that means hydroxyl ions 
are the ones losing electrons to form oxygen gas and also water. Then electrons are lost. So when we balance this equation, we are supposed to put 4 in the side of the hydroxide side. Then we are going to put 2 in the side of the water. Then that means 4 electrons are lost. So that means the number of Faraday's or our N will be equal to 4. It will be equal to 4. Multiplied by F and F we say it's Faraday constant which is equal to 96,500 Coulombs. That's how we are going to get. Then when we put all this in the calculator, what we are going to get will be 0 0.5092 liters. You can leave your answer in liters. Or you can multiply it by 1000 so that you convert into centimeter cube. So we can get 5092 centimeter cube as the volume of oxygen liability that the amount. Question number two. We are told to calculate the volume of chlorine gas in centimeter cube that is formed when a current of 0.9 amperes is passed through a solution of concentrated sodium chloride for 30 minutes. And we are told one mole of gas at STB is 22.4 decimeter cube and one Faraday is equal to 96,500 kilometers. So what we are going to use is the formula volume is equal to Q, which is the quantity of electricity mass multiplied by MGV, that's the molar gas volume, divided by N times F, where N is the number of Faraday's and F is Faraday itself. So V will be equal to 0 0.9, that's the current, multiplied by time. The time here is 30 minutes, but you have to multiply by 60 to convert it into seconds. So the first bracket we are in with is Q. Next, multiplied by molar gas volume. The molar gas volume given here is 22.4 decimeter cube, but we are told you have to give the volume in centimeter cube, so we can multiply it by 1000 there, divided by N. So what will be the N? N will be 2. Why? Because we are dealing with chlorine, that means chloride ions at the anode will be losing electrons to form chlorine gas. So that means if we balance, we are going to put two there, then what we mean is we have lost two electrons. We have lost two electrons, that's what it means. So the number of Faraday will be two, that is the two we have there, multiplied by F, that's Faraday, which is given in the bracket, that is 96,500 kilometers. If we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 188 centimeter cube as our volume of chlorine gas. Question number three. We are told in the extraction of sodium from sodium chloride, a current of 3.4 ampere was supplied for eight hours. Then we are asked to calculate the volume of chlorine that was evolved at room temperature and pressure. One Faraday is equal to 96,500 Columbus and one mole of gas at room temperature pressure, RTB, is equal to 24,000 centimeter cube. So the formula is V will be equal to Q multiplied by molar gas volume divided by N times F. So V will be equal to Q. Our Q will be, we're having 3.5 as our current. So here is 3.5, not 35, 3.5 multiplied by 8. That's the time, 8 hours. So we have to convert it into seconds. So we multiply it by 60 to convert it into minutes and we multiply another 60 so that we convert it into seconds multiplied by the the mgv the molar gas volume which is given 24000 centimeter cube divided by n that is the number of radius remember we are talking about chlorine so what we are going to see is that chloride ions at the anode will be losing two electrons to form chlorine gas so the two electron that has lost is the number of Faraday or our N. So we are going to put 2 here multiplied by Faraday that is F. F will be equal to 96,500 Columbus. So when we put all this in the calculator we are going to get 12,535 centimeter cube as our volume of chlorine that was evolved at one temperature. So the formula used when we are calculating RM the formula that we are going to use is M multiplied by N multiplied by F divided by Q, where Q is the quantity of electricity passed 
and we said q can be obtained by using the formula at where i is current measured in amperes and t is time and we said time must be in seconds so m is mass in grams deposited n is the number of electron gain or loss in other words number of Faraday's or the value on the charge of the metal then f f is Faraday and it is given by 96500 plumbus and rm is relative to the mass of element examples let's start with example number one we are told when a current of 1.56 ampere was passed through an electrolytic cell for an hour 2.2697 gram of a monovalent metal was deposited then we are asked to calculate the relative atomic mass of the metal in bracket we are given Faraday constant which is equal to 96,500 coulombs so the formula that we are going to use when we are calculating Rm is equal to M times N times F divided by Q where M is mass so the mass here is 2.2697 multiplied by n which is the number of faradays here for us to know the number of faradays we are given the valence of the metal we are told monovalent metal so that means if the valence is one that means the charge there is balance one so that means the number of faraday will be one multiplied by f f is faraday constant which is equal to 96500 coulombs divided by q Remember we said Q is obtained by using the formula AT, I is current which is measured in amperes, so 1.56, multiplied by time, time here is an hour, that's one hour, but we have to convert it into, into seconds, so we multiply it by 60, again by another 60 to convert it into seconds, when we put all this in the calculator, what we are going to get is 39, so that means the RN is 39, remember? RM has no unit, we are going to leave our answer like that. Example number two, we are told when a current of 2.09 ampere was passed through a solution containing T ions of metal T for 20 minutes. The mass at the cathode increased by 0.52 gram, then we are asked to determine the relative atomic mass of T. We are having Faraday constant, which is equal to 96,500 coulombs. So we are going to use the same formula. Rm is equal to m times n times f divided by q. m is the mass. The mass here has been increased by 0.52 multiplied by n. n is the number of Faraday. Check the judge. The value on the judge is 2. That's the number of Faradays multiplied by f. f is Faraday, which is given in the bracket 96,500 coulombs divided by q. Q is the quantity of electricity passed and it is equal to current multiplied by time. So the current is 2.09 multiplied by 20 minutes, but we have to convert the time into seconds by multiplying by 60. When we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 40.02 as our RM. Example 3, we are told when a current of 1.5 amperes was passed through a cell containing M3 plus ion of metal M for 14 minutes and 55 seconds. The mass of the cathode increased by 0.26 gram. We are told determine the relative atomic mass of metal N. In bracket, we are given F or 1F, which is equal to 96,500 coulombs. So the formula is Rm is given by m times n times f divided by q so m is 0.26 that's the mass multiplied by n n is the number of varieties in other words the number of electrons gain or loss or the value on the judge of the metal so the, the value on the judge that's three so our n is three multiplied by f f is the Faraday that's in 6500 columbus divided by so Q is quantity of electricity burst and it's equal to I times T. I is current which is measured in amperes, that's 1.5 multiplied by time. The time here is 14 minutes and 55 seconds. So you have to take 14, we multiply it by 6 to convert it into seconds and we add 55 seconds. So when we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 56.067 as our RM. Remember, RM has no unit. 
So the formula used when we are looking for the charge on a metal or the number of faradays, which we can write any small letter, will be equal to Q multiplied by Rm divided by M times F, where Q is the quantity of electricity passed. And we can get Q, Q is equal to IT, where I is current, which is measured in amperes, and T is time, which must be in seconds. Then we are having M, M is mass in grams deposited, N is the number of electrons gained or lost, in other words, the number of faradays or the judge on a metal or the value on the judge of a metal. Then F is faraday and faraday is equal to 96,500 Columbus. Then Rm is equal to relative atomic mass of element. Then we go to examples. Example number one. We are told in an experiment to electrolyze copper 2 sulfate solution using copper electrodes we are told 0 0.2 amperes were passed through the solution for 1930 seconds. The mass of copper cathode increased from 6.35 gram to 6.478 gram. Find the judge on a copper ion. Then we are given in bracket the RM of copper is 64 and 1 Faraday is equal to 96,500 Columbus. We got the solution. Let's start first of all by getting the mass deposited. Here we are going to take 6.478 gram, then we subtract 6.35 gram. Here we are going to get 0 0.128 gram. So that's the mass of the copper deposited on that copper cathode. So next we are going to go to the formula number of Faradays or the charge on a metal will be equal to Q that's the quantity of electricity multiplied by Rm divided by mass multiplied by F. So N will be equal to so the quantity of electricity we said it is obtained by using the formula IT where I is current measured in amperes that's 0 0.2 multiplied by time which is measured in seconds. So we are given 1930 seconds multiplied by Rm. The Rm of copper is 64 divided by then M is the mass deposited that's what we have gotten 0 0.128 multiplied by F that's Faraday which is equal to 96,500 Columbus. So when we put all this in the calculator the number of Faraday that we are going to get here will be 2. So the charge of the copper will be balanced 2. Example number two, we are told a nitrate of a metal M was electrolyzed. 0 0.117 gram of metal was deposited when a current of 0 0.4 amperes followed for 16 minutes. We are asked to determine the formula of the sulfate 6 salt of the metal. In bracket, we are given Faraday constant, which is equal to 96,500 Columbus, and we are told RAM of X is equal to 59.0 so solution so the formula for calculating number of verdes we say it is equal to q multiplied by rm divided by m times f so q is quantity of electricity bastard and the formula for using quantity of electricity is it where i is current measured in amperes so 0 0.4 multiplied by time the time we have here is 60 minutes but we have to convert into seconds by multiplying 60 times rm the rm of X is 59 divided by M. M is mass deposited. The mass here is 0 0.117 multiplied by F. F is Faraday, which is equal to 96,500 Columbus. When you put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 2. So the judge of metal is balanced 2. Then, if the judge is plus 2, that in the valence of M is also 2. Therefore, the formula between M and sulfate 6 will look like this. The valence of M is 2, the valence of sulfate 6 is 2. We will interchange the valence. Then if there is a common factor, we divide by 2, 1, by 2, 1. So the formula that we are going to get there will be M is of 4. So that's what we have here. M is of 4. Example number 3, we are told an element B has a relative atomic mass 88. That is the Rm. When a current of 0 0.5 amperes was passed through fused chloride of B for 32 minutes and 10 seconds, comma, 0 0.44 gram of B was deposited at the cathode. We are told to determine the judge on an ion of B. 
In bracket, we are given Freddy's constant, which is equal to 96,500 Coulomb's solution. The formula for calculating the number of Freddy's is just equal to Q times Rm divided by M times F. So where Q is the quantity of electricity passed, and it is obtained by using the formula IT, where I is current in amperes, so that's 0 0.5, multiplied by T, that's time, which is must be in seconds so we are supposed to take 32 minutes multiply by 60 to convert it to seconds and we are going to add 10 seconds there multiply by rm the rm of b is given 88 divided by the mass deposited is 0 0.44 gram then multiplied by f which is the freddy constant that's 96,500 kilometers when we put all this in the calculator we are going to get two that means the judge of B or the oxidation number of B will be plus 2. Example number 4. We are told electrolysis of an aqueous solution of salt of metal M resulted in the deposition of 1.07 gram of the metal upon passage of a current of 1.32 amperes for 75 minutes. We are asked to calculate the judge on the metal ion. In bracket, we are given for the constant, which is equal to 96,500 Columbus, and we are told Rm of M is equal to 52.0. So we got solutions, and that's the number of Freddy's will be equal to Q multiplied by Rm divided by M times F. So this will be equal to Q is the quantity of electricity passed, and we are going to use the formula IT, where I is current in amperes, that's 1.32, multiplied by time, that's 75 minutes, but time must be in seconds. We have to multiply by 60 to convert into seconds. Then we multiply by 52, which is the Rm of metal M. Then we divide by mass, that's M. Here we are given the mass 1.07 multiplied by F, that's Faraday, which is given 96,500 Columbus. When we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 2.99. We have to put it in whole number, that's we are going to get 3F, that means 3 Freddy's, and the judge of metal will be plus 3, or the oxidation number will be plus 3. So the formula that we are going to use here is, when we are talking about current, we can use the formula Q divided by T, where I is current in amperes, Q is the quantity of electricity passed, and t is time which must be in seconds that's the first formula the second formula that we can use is that if you want to calculate current that's i it will be equal to m times n times f divided by rm multiplied by t where q is the quantity of electricity passed m mass in grams deposited and the number of electrons gained or lost, that means the number of Faraday's or the value of the judge of the metal, F Faraday, which is equal to 96,500 Columbus, and Rm is the, the relative atomic mass of element. Or you can use the formula that we were using to calculate quantity of electricity, which was equal to M multiplied by N times F divided by Rm. Then when you get Q, that's quantity, you take I, which is equal to Q that you have obtained now, divided by time. So that's the formula that you can use. So we are going to go to examples. Example number one. We are told that 6,500 Columbus of judge were produced after 10 minutes in an electrolytic cell. We are asked to calculate the amount of current used. So we can use the formula current, that's I, which is equal to Q divided by time. So I will be equal to the quantity is 96,500 Columbus divided by time. The time is 10 minutes, but remember, time must be in seconds. We have to multiply by, by 60 to convert it into seconds. What we are going to get there is 160.8333 amperes as our current. Example number two, we are told to calculate the current passed if a mass of 0.234 gram of copper is deposited in four minutes during electrolysis of a solution of copper two sulfate. Or in bracket, we are given the relative atomic mass of copper to be 63.5, and we are told one Freddy is equal to 96,500 Columbus. So we can look at the formula, or we can use the formula I, that's current, which will be equal to M times N times F divided by RM times T. 
so m is mass in grams deposited so that's 0 0.234 multiplied by n n is the number of radius so here we're having cobalt 2 sulfate solution it contains cobalt 2 ions so cobalt 2 ions they're having majority of 2 plus or plus 2 then that mean that mean the number of freddy will be the value on the charge that is 2 multiplied by f f is Friday and Friday is given in 6500 kilos divided by RM. The RM given here is 63.5, the RM of copper. Then time there is 4 minutes, but remember, we have to convert it to seconds by multiplying 60. So when we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 2.9634 amperes. That's our current. Example number three we are told during purification of copper by electrolysis. 1.48 gram of copper was deposited when a current was passed through aqueous cobalt sulfate for two and a half hours. We are told to calculate the amount of current that was passed. So we are given in bracket the RM of copper to be 63.5 and until 1 Freddy is equal to 6500 So I, which is current, is equal to M times N times F divided by RM times time. So M is the mass deposited, that's 1.48 gram, multiplied by N. N is the number of Faradays. That or we can just get the, the value on the charge of the metal. So cobalt 2 sulfate contains cobalt 2 ions. So that means the value on the charge is 2. So we are going to put there 2 multiplied by F. That's Faraday, which is given 96,500 Columbus, divided by RAM. The RAM of copper given here is 63.5 multiplied by time the time given is two and a half hours so that's 2.5 multiplied by 60 to convert it to minutes then multiply by another 60 to convert to seconds so when we put all this in the calculator what we are going to get is 0 0.4998 amperes as our current so the formula used is time which is equal to q divided by i where t is time which must be in seconds then q is quantity of electricity passed then i is current which is measured in amperes so if you don't want to use that formula you can use this formula we can use t which is equal to m times n times f divided by rm multiplied by i or we can use this formula first of all we calculate quantity of electricity which can be used to calculate M times N times F divided by RAM. So when we use this, we get Q, then we calculate time by using the formula Q that we have formed or obtained using this formula, then we divide by the current. So we are told where Q is the quantity of electricity passed, M is mass in grams deposited, N number of electrons gained or lost, or the number of Faradays, or the value on the joint of the metal. F is Faraday, which is given by 96,500 Columbus, and RM is relative atomic mass of element. Let's go to examples. Example number one. We are told a current of 2 amperes was passed through an electrolytic cell. 96,500 Columbus of judge were produced. Calculate the time taken. So time is equal to Q divided by I. I is current. So Q is quantity of electricity, which is 96,500. It is given divided by I, which is current, which is measured in amperes. We are given 2. So when we put all this in the calculator, what we are going to get is 48,250 seconds. So that's our time. Question number 2, part A. We are told what quantity of electricity will deposit a mass of 2.43 gram of zinc during electrolysis of a solution of zinc sulfate. In bracket, we are given the RM of zinc, which is 65, and we are told when Faraday is equal to 26,500 Columbus. So here, we have to get first of all Q before we go to the second part, that's calculating the time. So Q is given by M times N times F divided by RM. M is mass deposited here, 2.43 multiplied by n n is the number of Faradays. here we are having zinc sulfate so it contains zinc two ions so number of Faradays we said is just equal to the value of the charge so the value of the charge is two or the number of electrons gained or 
lost so here zinc two ions gains two electrons so this two is the number of faradays or our n which is two here multiply by f f is faraday and we told one faraday is equal to 6500 coulombs we, we have written there divided by rm the relative atomic mass of zinc which is 65 when we put all this in the calculator we are going to get 7215.23 coulombs so that's the quantity of electricity passed so we go to part b but b we are told calculate the time in minutes it will take during electrolysis of the solution of zinc sulfate above if a current of 4.0 amperes is used so remember we said time is equal to q divided by i i is current so the q we have calculated it here we have gotten 7215.23 columbus divided by current which is given here 4.0 so the time that we are going to get is here 1803.8 seconds but remember we are told time in minutes you have to get it in minutes so we have already gotten in seconds it so if we have gotten in seconds let's just calculate it in minutes so how do you get it you take seconds then you divide by 60 you get it in minutes so if we take 1803.8 divided by 60 we are going to get 30 minutes example number three we are told during purification of iron by electrolysis 1.5669 gram of iron was deposited when a current of 0.75 ampere was passed through an aqueous iron 2 nitrate calculate the time taken in hours that's what we are asked so in bracket we are having the relative atomic mass of iron which is 56 when we are to 1f is equal to 96,500 coulombs. So time will be equal to m times n times f divided by r m times i. So m is mass deposited, it is 1.5669 multiplied by n. n is the number of Faraday's. So the electrolyte that we have here is iron 2 nitrate, so it contains iron 2 ions. So number of Faraday's or n that will be the value on the charge of the metal or the number of electrons gained or lost. So here, iron 2 iron gains 2 electrons to form neutral iron metal. So our N will be 2 multiplied by F, which is Faraday, which is given 96,500 Columbus, divided by RM of iron, which is 56, multiplied by current, which we are given here, 0 0.75 ampere. When we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get... 7200.28 seconds so we have to convert the time in hours how do you convert it you take seconds then you divide by 3600 what you are going to get will be two hours so the formula used here when we are calculating Freddy constant which we can write f capital letter it will be equal to q multiplied by rm divided by m times n where Q is the quantity of electricity passed, and Q can be obtained by using the formula IT, where I is current measured in amperes, time, T is time, which must be in seconds. So next we are saying M is mass in grams deposited, N is the number of electrons gained or lost, or in other words, the number of Faraday's or the value of the judge of a metal. Then F is Faraday, which is equal to 96,500 Columbus. Then RM is relative atomic mass of element. Let's go to examples. Example number one, we are told if 1.7163 gram of sodium was deposited when a current of 1 ampere was burst through an electrolytic cell of molten sodium chloride for 120 minutes, determining the Faraday constant. So here we are given the relative atomic mass of sodium, which is 23. So Freddy is equal to Q multiplied by Rm divided by M times N. So Q is quantity of electricity, which we can use the formula IT, where I is current measured in amperes. So the current given here is 1 multiplied by time. The time given is 120 minutes. So 120 minutes multiplied by 60 to convert it into seconds. Then we multiply by Rm, the Rm of sodium is 23, divided by M is the mass deposited, and the mass deposited is 1.7163, so you can see here, 
then multiplied by n. n is the number of Faraday's. So here we have a molten sodium chloride, so it contains sodium ion. And the charge of sodium ion is plus one, then that means the value on the charge is one. So this is the one that we're talking about. So when we put all this in the calculator, we're going to get 96,486.6 Columbus as our Frederick constant. Example number two, we are told a current of 1.2 amperes was passed through molten aluminum oxide for 75 minutes, deposited 0.5036 gram of aluminum metal at the cathode. We are asked to determine the Faraday's constant and we are given the RM of aluminum which is equal to 27. The formula for calculating Faraday constant will be equal to Q multiplied by RM divided by M times N. Q is quantity of electricity bus, which we can use the formula IT, where I is current measured in amperes, that's 1.2, multiplied by time, time is 25 minutes, but we have to multiply by 60 to convert into seconds, because we are told time must be in seconds. Then we multiply it by RM, the RM given the aluminum is 27, divided by M, M is mass, the mass deposited is 0 0.5036, multiplied by number of Freddy's. Here we're having aluminum aluminum oxide as our electrolyte, so it contains aluminum ion. So the judge, the value of the judge of aluminum is three. So that is the three that we have there. When we put all this in the calculator, we are going to get 96,505.16 Columbus as our Faraday's constant. Lastly, let's go to the extended questions. Kindly try to attempt these questions and you can submit your responses or your answers in the comment section. Let's go to the next page. Here we're having question number one to question number four. Then here we have from number four to number seven. Okay, next we go to the next side. We go from seven to nine. Then we we'll go to the last part that's from number 10 to number 12. So that's the end of our class today. Thank you for watching.